Hello peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries. My name's Russ. It's one-off Wednesday. Oh, part not a one-off Wednesday. We're doing part two of this, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, it's about this secret agent thing. Puzzle Inspector. FBI. Anyway, last time we left him, we'd just done the diner. Nelson, whatever his name is, uh, we've got uh, we've got to go to I see Sasami Woods and go and check out Nelson Tether. That's his name. Yeah, FBI Bureau of Puzzle investigations. Right, back. We've got to go to Sesame Woods, which are over here. And then we're heading for the ice fishing huts. He looks comfortable, doesn't he? How are we all doing today anyway? I hope you're all well. Hello? Well, he's not going to exactly answer, is he? Ugh. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man, late 30s. Looks like he froze to death, trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm going to have a look. Oh, here we go, straight into it. Was Mike Lobb following Isaac? Who's the hell's Isaac? Rotate the tiles to chart a path from Mike Lobb to the ice fishing hut. Beware, lest the path intersect with one upon which a shadowy figure lurks. Okay. Does it, doesn't it? Unless the path intersects with one upon which oh okay I got it so if there's one on that path and it intersects doesn't intersect with that one we're coming down doesn't intersect with him
There we go. Goes that way, so I need to twist that. Oh shit. There we go. Comes that way. Right, let's have a look. Double check. Come down. Submit. No, it don't. It don't, does it? Sure, it was right last time. I'll have to rewatch that. Oh, cheers, peeps. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean. Ah. <laughs> they tried to, 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 to take him. The lock must be not. The lock on the factory door. Key. <laughs> ah. <gasps> okay. What is this thing? I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. I'm going to hold on to it for later. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Alright, so we're not going to go and put the cog back on. Right, let's get off to the lake. Oh, it's Mr. Handyman again. Mr. Scrathman. You following me, boy? No, sir. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Uh, I can't leave until I get that factory back open. I have a few more questions for you. Of course you do. Nice fishing. Is this your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. Well, what are you doing then? Fixing stuff. That's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. I just do my job. Glory. I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Davner. Oh, that's the wife, yeah. No, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect the bloke that supposedly well. died in the accident. The night of the accident. Busy. Are you accusing me of something? I'm just asking. It's part of my job to be thorough. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. Where were you on the night of the accident again? At the, at at the, the hotel. hotel, he's just told you. You had to go through the woods to get here. 
Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yep. Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let a guy die out there? Had nothing to do with it. The cold will creep right up on you. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Mr. Scruffman claims he was working the night of the accident. I'm headed over to the hotel to check out his story now. Alright, okay. Back to the woods. Found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. don't need to repeat yourself my friend back to the woods Ugh. all right back to the hotel which was Again, Mr. Bjorn. Yeah. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stuff. Despite his stock, you think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman. He's a valuable member of this community, and that'll be enough of you trying to say otherwise. Do you think Glory Davner's capable of violence? Hmm. So that's a no. What was that? Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Going inside to see what happened. I hope I won't need backup. I heard it was well, because you ain't got none. Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace. I turned my back on it for one second and boom. Okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. We'll take the tiles to reconstruct the wood stove's flue. The stove pipe may split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Okay. was that hurry it's getting away saw a thing it stole some pipe going after it <laughs> checking out oh my <laughs> what about my furnace you're all done Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the... Someone better equipped to handle your situation. Oh, I see. Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. Will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What is Sheriff Bog hiding? And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around, see this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. 
I think the sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? Which part of the lock? I need to see a man about a furnace pipe. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Chewing gum. Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. The Annabelle Annabelle Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over. The judge missed it. Read the four statements. Help him determine the oh god. I pin Pearl like a new hat. Pat won fair and square. Outmatched by the grizzly grip. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Matched by the grisly grip. So, Flo is one of those two. And one of these two did the grisly grip. Those two didn't win. She beat Flo. So that's Flo, that must be Pat. I'm guessing a little bit there. That. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't beat me. Is it her then? Excellent. That was a tricky one. Yeah. What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then then Huh? Since Bo's brain got scrambled, all input ends in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all the empty slops to redirect his stream of thoughts to the light of lucidity. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. The stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at right angles. So these are all fixed. So we can't go up. Just 
going to go there and it's going to go there. Don't want to end up there. So if it came down here, well it's not going to come down here is it, because it's going to get to the light bulb first, so that's obsolete. Yeah you can't put one in there. So he's going to go there and he's going to start going up. Oh, I could go that way, couldn't I? And it'd come down. If I went that way, up, bounce at right angles, down. That's going to go into there, so that's not good. So I need to come into here. Bang, bang, dink. Let's try that. So go hit that, go up, hit that, 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 that. Try that. Hello? Oh, right, okay. So when it hits a blank square, it crashes. So we've got to have stuff in there. All right, let's take them back out. All right, I'll go there, go there. So I'll go to here. Let's have a look. There, there, to there. Let's try that. Into there, up there, there, there. That way, to there. there down to there let's go to the right into there into there to that that and that try that on hey Excellent. Well, that was a very interesting puzzle, but the yeah. whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Another gear. Hmm. Can never have enough gears. Cheers, peeps.
Catherine. I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. That's not right, is it? Plink, 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 plink. Well, that goes, doesn't it? Doesn't it say you can split? All sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Can't all rejoin, can they? Oh, I see.
Right, let's have a look. He goes that way. He goes to there. He goes that way to there. And he goes that way to there. Submit that one. Hey! <laughs> Get excited, relegate, right? Don't take much. There you go. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Ah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh, yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Right, hidden people. Can you tell me anything more about... Oh, yeah, tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I, I thought took there a were picture six, when Aria. I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Right. So you got to think negatively red with the green hat and green legs green hat green legs with red looking to its opposite That arm up, that arm down, so that one's there. Red hat, red legs. That's that one. Green legs. Red top. It's that one. Or do the colours change? Not sure. Ah, I was right. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> uh. I'd better not. Someone left a screwdriver. Now we've done that. 
But it told me to go out the side of the door, didn't it? Oh, I missed some chewing gum. Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. My glob is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm going to head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Fogg. Right, diner. Diner, diner, show us the leg, the part up of the knee. No chewy. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi check. He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Yorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, you had me going there, Tethers. A government agent. Investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, H how'd you go in there? That sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tethers. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? He's insect collectors can lay well box them back up again, stringing lines between adjoining points. Keeping these rules in mind. Close all the bugs using the fewest number of lines to draw a box possible. The box can be any size, but it's got four sides. <coughs> bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each grass grazer needs three squares of territory. Each pink puddle needs two. So I've got six for them too. So I would need six for them. four sides hasn't it reset I 
just got the three there. It's got two for him. Two for him. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, bugger. Let's try it that way. Five, six, seven, eight. this corner here there's, there's just enough squares to do them all but if that does those three there that's going to leave that one spare there and if I do that way I'm going to end up with that one there, and I can't get one of these down. One, two, three, four down. Don't work. Well, we know this one has to go like that, and it needs to, so it's got to be like that. four sides. It did say four sides, didn't it? It's got to be four-sided. Right. So I need two more. That's that one. Go, go like that, but yeah, it's that one there. So we could do four there for those. And then that would mean hold on, I think I've done it. Four, four, six, six, four. Have we done it? Ooh, that, that hurt my brain that did. Oh. Look at that. He did it. Yes. Now, will you oh, answer I did my it. questions? 
Sure. Fire him at me. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. I don't see the waitress around. Did she go somewhere? That's a good question. I ordered some key lime about 20 minutes ago. Well, it's a mile, a couple of miles walk to the bloody kitchens. Those chairs weren't here before, were they? Nope. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for. Hmm. Something odd about them. Secret image. Let's get them all in first, shall we? Take them. Right. I think we've got the start. Move you over there. No. Done it. That image you just made? That's the symbol those launch guys use. Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? 
He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the lodge. Brothers of Scoggins or something like that. Brothers and weirdos, if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. What about this guy? Sir, you seem stressed. You know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. Who so are you? What's your name? Steve. Sir, I'm Hello, here Steve. About the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspic- Nothing more than usual. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Trains, birds, transport freight. Tonight shipments just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Oh shit. Each type of bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird is carrying the maximum amount it can. You can team birds up on heavy loads, each carrying what it can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Okay. Uh, I reset. Carrying its maximum, it's carrying two. Hey, he said it's got to be evenly distributed between its two legs. If it can carry two, so that's got to be one. Because one and one is two, they can carry two and two, so that's got to be four. Two for that one, two for that one. Oh, this is comfort. My brain hurts. That can carry two. If that's the maximum. So that's not going to be two. It's got to be one. As is that one. So it's one, four, six, seven, eleven, thirteen. I 
Are we right? Wrong. Each type of bird has a weight limit. Let's have a look at the certain weight limit. We've got that. Each bird shown is carrying the maximum it can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Balanced evenly between a bear's two legs, that would be three and three. That don't make sense with that one, does it? Got three there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Try fourteen. Ah, miscounted. That's all it was. There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Now we spoke with everybody, haven't we? How are you doing, Steve? Hidden Do you know people. anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? See you, Steve. Hello again, Daryl. Okay, this might sound silly, but have you got my cousin's <laughs> neighbor saw one once? Oh, not this again. He swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So the hidden people are just a bunch of make believe then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. Now we've done this one. There's some tobacco, I guess the. Why is it telling me to speak to him? How are you doing, Steve? Out of. They're smart. I once saw a black bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese Danish. Wow. Oh. It's all just. No, I've done it. Oh. Five, 
five and five. They can carry four. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg, an owl. 1.5 a bluebird one freight must be balanced lines can't cross right lines can't cross mallard can carry two gnomes per leg right Trees, though. Lines can't cross. You can carry one and a half per leg, so you can carry three. In total. Hey. You put three ropes in. done. He can carry one. I think that is it. Hey! <laughs> oh, look at that, the hour's up. Well, that wasn't so hard. Well, I don't think there's anything else to do. Are we off to the lodge? Bjorn is starting Chewing to look gum. more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Scoggins map. I wonder if it's the same one. Right, let's have a look at the map. There's the lodge. But that's where we'll go next time. Right. We're getting there slowly.
I think this might take a couple more. Whatever you're up to today, have a fantastic day. And until next time, I'll see you there.